the third topic, which, which is the PC requirements for Fault. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, it's going to only be on PC for now. Early access is only going to be on PC. There will not be a PS4 or PS5 version as of yet. It is, of course, in the roadmap and their goals to get there. Uh, but it shouldn't happen before full release as it has to succeed on the computer first. So because of that, there's going to be some minimum requirements that they say are needed to play Fault. Uh, yeah, so let's just pull them up. Yeah, because I think currently what they're showing on Steam is definitely not proper because it's some pretty beefy requirements, I think, yeah. so, right now. Yeah, I actually have it up there. So what they say for the operating system is Windows 7. That that that's good, you know. That's simple. A pro the uh, processor, the CPU is an i7 2600K. I'm gonna be honest. I played the Alpha Weekend, and my processor isn't that good. So I wonder if these Just are requirements for like absolute, like epic, like total. They, no, this is what they, they have a minimum and recommended. So I'm only reading the minimum at the moment. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's way too high. Uh, they got memory, 8 gigs of RAM. 8 gigs of RAM, that's reasonable. Uh, probably every computer has 8 gigs of RAM, but not every laptop has 8 gigs of RAM. That can be an issue because yeah. you can lose uh, some customers that way. The graphics card GTX 960, look, that's, that's really low. Uh, everyone will probably be able to play it off that. DirectX version, broadband connection, whatever, 50 gigabytes of space. So that's what they're calling minimum. So that's what they're saying is needed to play the game on the lowest settings possible. I can tell you outright, you don't need a CPU that good because I do not have one that good. Um, and I do have a better GPU in RAM, though. Uh, so, yeah. the recommend, so the recommended is Windows 10. Uh, the newest version, of course. Uh, CPU of i7 6600K. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. A GTX 980. And same things for that. So why I wanted to bring this up is this is just to add to the educated... Uh, you want to be an educated, educated consumer. And this is the stuff Strange Matter is recommending that you have. However, I can tell you first right that I'm playing on high settings in the Alpha 3 weekend uh, I with I have 16 gigs of RAM and I have a GTX 1660 Super but I definitely don't have that processor and I had like and I always have like 20 tabs open on my and like other stuff like it and the game ran fine I was running 100 frames per second no problem um, and so this has been this was brought up it probably must be a month ago now in the strange matter discord because uh, someone was saying, like, look, I don't got a PC that good, man. Like, I only got a $500 PC kind of thing. Um, or I only got a laptop. And they said, no, 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 no. It, it should be, uh, like, you should still be able to play it, no problem. So uh, I assume Strange Matter is looking into the matter. And they don't fully have all the specs um, ironed out yet. What what the minimum and recommended is. Uh, but I can tell you that if you're on Steam and you're weary that... This is too high. You don't need this much. Like, I promise you, you don't. Um, yeah, because that's sort of the appeal of games like League of Legends and whatnot. Because everyone can download it. Everyone can play it. Because it doesn't have these crazy requirements yeah. to play. Like, it, it's just so easy to get into it and be part of the community. Because you do not need that huge commitment of, like, a $1,500 game and setup. In order to play their game, yeah, you, you don't, you don't, you don't need these requirements. So this is just uh, to help people, and and that's a really good point that Chandler made about the League of Legends thing. Uh, I don't know how it would work, but I assume uh, that there will be a way to make it that people can play at different settings, and you can make the settings so low that anyone with a laptop should be able to play, as long as it's like you know, not. Uh, from 2010 or something like that. Um, and I think that that itself is going to add a lot of... is going to attract a lot of customers and gamers to try Fault Out. I think, I think that'll be really... 
that lower the system. Yeah, I feel like that's a, like a requirement. Yeah, to it's a requirement to make the system requirements as low as they possibly can, so that everyone can play it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, just as just as simple as that. Uh, Steve, what do you think? Like, would you think off of these system requirements, do you think your laptop that you're on could handle it? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I was looking at my um, my uh, stats here. <laughs> I mean, I got an i7 8700. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what kind of graphics card I have in here, but I do know it's like a like a GeForce GTX. Oh, 1050. Cool. Mm-hmm. But you only have yeah, six I mean... gigabytes of RAM. No, actually, I apparently have 12. You have 12? Okay, well, you're going to be <laughs> super fantastic, because I remember you telling me six the other day. Uh, uh, my bad. Yeah, Maybe so... it's two separate? What? It could be two separate RAM cards. Yeah, two, to two six, just like one for like oh. just general and the other one for... You're thinking about, but I, ha- I know that it has like solid state and whatever the opposite of that is. Uh, well, yeah, everything has an SSD. Oh, okay. Yeah, SSD is basically uh, well, this has, this fast has, like, solid... memory, and then yeah. HDD is like your slow memory. So yeah. HDD is usually really big, like one terabyte or something, or five hundred gigs, or even though you can get SSDs that big, of course. Hey, it turns out I've had this computer for over a year, and I actually didn't have my fucking graphics card on. <laughs> 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 I was just using my... Uh, 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 you oh, had okay. eco mode. Uh, oh, alrighty. Well, C's been failing to use his laptop uh, I feel fucking for stupid. a while now, apparently. But yeah, so just, just to reiterate, this is just... This is what Strange Matter currently has the system requirements to be. And I'm sure they're going to change as time goes on. And as time goes on, it's going to be better and better for everyone to play. So if you uh, just have an older laptop don't or don't have uh the finances to get a better pc or whatever it may be uh no i don't believe you'll have anything to worry about once early access comes around if you plan on playing it yeah so thank you uh that is the end of act one we're six minutes away from it being over but we'll just we'll just we'll just uh end it there now we will be back for act two we take a 10 minute break in between uh, I go grab some water because talking for hours is very difficult, believe it or not. And yeah, so we'll be back. And if you want to talk, we'll be in the Strange Matter Discord. And as I just want to say, we are not affiliated with Strange Matter at all. We're just consumers, just like the majority of the viewers themselves. And this is S.A. Reed, Gotta Get Swole, and Stranger in the Faltering Journal number four. So... Swag.